Last Friday morning, I attended the North Dakota AP Sportscasters and Sports Writers Association meeting. As a group, the state's media decided on eight finalists for the Miss Basketball Award, given to the top player in girls high school basketball based on her senior season performance. Tonight, the finalists have been published. Century is the only school with two athletes, Logan Nisley and Bergen Kinnebrew. Just one other player from Class A, it's Mariley Simon from West Fargo, the EDC Player of the Year. Two local ladies made the list, West Hope Newberg's Ellie Broughton, the Class B Senior Athlete of the Year, and Ken Mayer's standout center, Brenna Strokeland, who averaged 18 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 blocks per game. Not to toot my own horn here, but Ellie and Brenna, both one-time Athletes of the Week. DeConte Smith is a familiar name. The senior from Central Cass was the player of the tournament at the State B. Rounding out the list, Hallie Crockett from Northern Cass and Haley Quam from Shiloh Christian. The winner will be announced between the girls and boys Class A championship games Saturday night. Over the weekend, the Minot High swimming team continued their streak of success, hoisting another state championship trophy. The Magi set a state record in the 200 medley relay. They won the 100 butterfly, the 100 breaststroke, and the 400 free relay. Your United Community Bank Athlete of the Week has also earned a special title. He's the king. Yeah, Alex King, I mean, he, that is kind of how he performs. This Minot High senior, I was kind of shocked, is the state swimmer of the year. There were at least two of the other guys were like, I think personally they might be better than I am. Alex and his teammates added the Magician's sixth straight state championship banner to the Minot Walls. He's going to be legendary for a lot of years in, in our program. But he'd never tell you how he did it. I hate talking about like how good I am and stuff, because I I know how hard it is for other people to hear that too, because I've had people talk about how good they are, and I hate it. Instead, I'll talk about it. Alex has been part of nine record-breaking swims in school, region, and state history. Those younger guys look up to Alex as a real role model and somebody that cares about them. His secret is humility. Later on, I still wish I would have worked a little bit harder. Others say it's his intensity. That type of intensity day in and day out isn't something that you can coach into an athlete. It's gotta be something that they do for each other. But above all, Alex is just a good person. I have a friend on every team. Everyone knows his name. Well, you can see Alex King talking with athletes from across the state, talking with coaches from across the state. You know, what a, a good reflection on our program when you know one of our team leaders is out there being so positive. He's earned his crown. Alex told me he's still undecided on his college future, but would like to swim somewhere where he'll do great wherever he goes. The Minot State football team is ready to kick off the 2023 season under new head coach Ian Shields. They announced their schedule this afternoon. Shields bringing back a pre-pandemic tradition of Thursday night home opener games. For the first time since 2018, Beavs will play their first game of the season under the lights. They'll play Southwest Minnesota State on August 31st here in the Magic City. Homecoming weekend is also the third week of the season against Mankato on September 16th. Rivalry game Battle, Battle of the Big Lake is in Bismarck this season at Hugh Mary's Place. Football season closer than you think. We'll be